to my first studio vlog. Um, yeah, this is new to me, so bear with. I've not got a plan of what I'm going to talk about, um, but I have got some stuff that I need to be doing, that I want to be doing. So yeah, today, what are we going to do? So today is Saturday, it's Easter weekend, uh, and I've just done some stuff on my main channel, so just done some videos and whatnot. I've done, I think I've done about three videos. So I'm now moving on to stuff to do with Etsy and crafting. Yeah, so in this video, we're basically going to be, I want to try out, I got some new shrinkable paper I want to try it out it's from I'll show you so I want to make, make I want to try and make sort of shrinkable pins I've seen them be made online um, I did try and find some stuff on Amazon but I thought the paper was quite expensive for like five sheets it was like 15 quid or something so I found this I mean again I don't know how good it is I found it on eBay you get 10 sheets uh, if you're interested I can kind of leave the link below if you want to try it out but you're probably better waiting for me to try it out on here first to see how well it does um, it's actually a place in Leicester I see so yeah I got two packs I think you get five in a pack uh, and I think it came to um maybe 15 for 10 10 sheets altogether but this is the shrink plastic so I'm going to be making some sort of pins with this so um I have got some of the designs that you haven't seen yet if you I'll leave all my shop details below if you want to go and have a little browse as well but that's the plan for today I mean I'm saying today it's already four o'clock um so yeah that is the plan and do have a little go at that so like we'll be getting onto that shortly so the other thing um that i want to talk about as well is that i did buy some stuff from eHarts market um if you've obviously heard of emily harvey art if you're into crafts and stickers and whatnot you will have i'll leave her handle stuff below as well and i did buy a couple of things from some of the other sellers and i want to show what i got actually so yeah first off i'm going to show you what i got from emily right so i have unboxed this already because i actually received it last week so this is everything i got from emily sorry i got the bookmark as well so i did choose this sort of bookmark i kind of like the gothic sort of look so i got that as well it's got her little picture on the back there it's really nice quality lovely feeling sort of sort of a satin sort of feel so that was really nice she obviously threw in as well this sort of freebie which is this um i love you more than cake which is really nice this is a nice little sort of it feels smooth it's not quite matte but it's got like a silk texture again i picked up this sort of um self love club which is like this sort of potion and um, to talk about self love again that's really really nice um with this nice little so i got to pick that one up too and i also really liked um this sort of sticker sheet now this is a lovely sort of gloss sticker sheet i can't seem to get my gloss stickers looking like this i'm um, not sure what paper she uses we're using slightly different paper i might have to see if i can source some other paper but this is really really nice feels like really good quality and then obviously you get the lovely um thank you card thank you sweetie and then obviously a nice little message on the back there just from Emily, which is really, really nice. So that was everything that we got from Emily and um, that I ordered, which I thought was lovely. Right, the other thing that came today as well was this one. And I was so surprised that it came today. I've been waiting for it for a couple of weeks now. Um, this is from the lovely... Yeah, so this parcel arrived today and it's from Beatrice at, is it Epanas uh, Illustrates? Um, I've been following her for quite a little while. I really like her stuff. So this came, I was really happy to uh, open it, which I already have, by the way. Apologies for the ripped paper because I couldn't wait to open it this morning. But inside you get all these lovely little sort of bits of tissue, which I thought was really nice. I kind of want to add that to my sort of parcels. Now, I did pick up one of her little badges. Um, which I thought was absolutely cute. I do love the sort of love hearts and flowers on here. I thought that was lovely. Uh, and the backing card that it comes on is really nice and thick and good quality. So yeah, I wanted to have a look a little bit at one of, oh, losing my little tissue spots. I wanted to have a look at her little pins. This, this little guy is so cute. Look at him. And obviously she's done the sort of acrylic um, or the Mod Podge sort of um, overlay uh, over the top, which is really nice. It just gives it that lovely glossy finish um, i'm kind of don't know where to put these at the minute i want to i don't really want to stick the stickers in any books because i like to keep them but i thought that was lovely i might pop it on my pin board up there uh, but yeah that is so cute i love that then obviously she sent this little thank you card and a little note on the back saying hi jane thank you so much for your lovely message and order it means a lot which is really sweet i love that it's so cute now 
she also sent me um obviously i ordered a few more bits from her and in here i was so surprised Ooh. But she sent me some freebies as well which was really nice so i did order these lovely bee stickers these are the little bee sticker set um with the little bees inside which i thought were really cute i ordered a bookmark from her as well which feel absolutely lovely they feel sort of silky really lovely quality i really like them and i love her style of planets and stuff which i thought were lovely as well they've got little faces on there which are so cute um some freebies as well so she sent me this little free sort of uh, flower sticker and another free little sticker here which i thought was absolutely cute as anything so i got that one too that was so cute um i did order as well this uh, which is like a little globe i love how everything comes in like glassine bags um so yeah i got um this little happy little flower face here which i thought was so cute and i also got this little globe as well which again i thought was lovely um really like this one um too so they came in that little little glassine bag and then last but not least i ordered um let's get rid of the little tissue spots I ordered this little print here which has these lovely little house plants on which I thought was absolutely lovely as well um yeah I thought that was cute so yeah I got that as well so everything came absolutely lovely lovely packaged um and I'm really happy with everything so that was everything from Beatrice and I'll leave her details below as well now, the other thing that actually came this week as well was not from the eHearts mar uh, market at all, but it was actually something from Catnip. I've been watching Catnip for quite a while. I really love everything that she does. Um, but yeah, I decided to buy her Bumblebutt Mouse Mat, which I thought was absolutely lovely. I needed a new one. Sam has pinched mine. Uh, he's using it downstairs on the work computer. So um, he's nicked mine. So I decided to get Bumblebutt, which I thought was really, really cute. So I got that. Um, it obviously came in her lovely new tissue paper, which I don't want to throw away because it feels like velvet. Um, it feels absolutely gorgeous. So I have ripped it a little bit there, but it is so nice. I cannot tell you how beautiful it is. And it was packed by the lovely Mike as well. So thank you, Mike. And um, yes, yeah. and inside you get her new little thank you cards as well. Uh, which say I believe in you which I thought were really lovely and then you get this little sort of message from the team as well which I thought was lovely so yeah I did get them from catnip as well this week yeah so these arrived today I actually bought some uh, b pins um which I thought were really really nice they are my design uh, I've got to say I have yet to design my own pin which I would really love to do but these are these sort of save the b pins which I thought were really really lovely um, again they aren't my design so you probably can find these elsewhere as well but and I didn't get that many of them to be honest because I thought I'd put them in my shop and just see how they did but yeah I got those so I do want to put them on a backing card so I do most of my designing either in Procreate I don't know if you can see that most of my designing in Procreate or I do it in Canva as well so I use Canva quite a lot um, so this is basically the pin that I've sort of come up with um, for my uh, for my Save the Bees pin. And I thought it would look, this is probably about the size of a business card. And I thought that it would look quite nice in the middle there. Obviously, this is blown up quite a lot. So I'm going to print this off. Just going to print it on paper just to see... Um, see what it looks like. So yeah, let's get this printed out. So I printed this off. Um, it is actually on some thicker paper. So I'm just going to cut around it. I think actually the um, the text right at the bottom is probably too low. I need to just move it up a little bit. So I'd, I like to do a test print just to see what it's like. Um, I'm just going to cut around it by hand. Because then next time what I'll do is I'll actually download it as a PNG and then put it into Cricut and then Cricut can actually cut it out. So let's just try this out. I just wanted to test it for the colours and everything. So that is the size of the backing. Um, do I like it? Do I think the... Let me just attach it. Let's see what it looks like. Tell me what you think below. Um, what do you think about that? It's a bit wonky. Straighten it up. 
Is that too high? Does it need to be further down? Um, yeah, I do need to move that up a little bit. It's really close. As you can see, I've left a little bit of white on the bottom. Um, I'm not too sure about the black clouds. I think they kind of look a little bit strong. I don't know what you guys think. It kind of sort of matches the B, I suppose. But um, not sh not completely sure about it, if you know what I mean. Um, I think the yellow could be a little bit stronger. I think it looks a little bit, probably a little bit too pale. It looked stronger on the screen, so... Yeah, I might just try that again and just see what happens. Right, so I've actually printed it again, but I've actually intensified the yellow a little bit. So this was the first one, which was on um, sort of on a pale, sort of a thin card. It wasn't much. And this one, sorry, this one's on paper, which is why it's not sticking uh, very well. I'll make it a bit tighter. But yeah, this is the one which is a little bit stronger. I think I prefer this one. So I'm probably going to go for this. I have moved it up, as you can see there, whereas this one was really close to the bottom. But I think this one's just a little bit nicer. It looks stronger on the screen, but it's not printing out as strong. I just thought that looked quite cute and would look lovely on a backing card. So yeah, I'm going to be uh, doing that on my Cricut now and uh, outputting them. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll just get on with that. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it so I haven't been doing too much um basically I wanted to try out the shrink paper so I'm going to give this a go now I'm going to print it out I'm going to 
set the oven and see how this goes. This is trial and error. I've never done this before. I will then give you my feedback on what I think of these sort of shrink sheets. Um, as I said, they were a really good price, so I just want to see how they work out. But if you're interested, I'll leave this sort of information below where to get these if you want to get them yourself, if the good that is. Yeah, I've just been working on my um, channel banner for my new YouTube channel. I have my current lifestyle channel um, that's currently at like 3,000 and something subscribers, but I thought because this is mainly going to be crafting and stuff and uh, cricket stuff and stickers and whatnot, uh, key rings, everything, resin sort of art crafts and stuff, I'd make it separate because those followers don't generally want to know about that. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's get into um, this shrinky dinks. Right, it basically says that you can print on any side of the paper. So basically what I've done is I've just sort of mounted up my um, I've put a board around everything and I've mounted up all my images. So these are them uh, coming out now. They're going to shrink down to at least half the size. Now what I need to do now, basically it says I need to leave it for like half an hour um, for the ink to dry before cutting them out. Now I did leave a white board around them but obviously you can't see that now. Um, but I'm going to hand cut these. I'm not going to put them through the Cricut. I've seen people have problems cutting them through the Cricut. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cut them by hand. So... Yeah, let's hope they work out. I'm going to come back in half an hour and we'll get cutting them out. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Right, so on the shoe ones, I have to um, cut a hole in already. So I have done with these little cutters. Um, I've cut a little hole in there, as you can see. I hope it doesn't shrink and close up completely. It shouldn't do. But um, we're going to see, because this hole might not be big enough, so I'm not sure. This is the only size I've got. But we'll go and give it a go. Living life with the lights out, die with my own doubt. Be free with me. Be free. Be free with me. This is basically what we have so far. Now they worked really well. I just think that it did say that they were gonna um sort of shrink to sort of 50% and I find that the train is probably okay is the size for a key ring. It could have been a tiny little bit bigger. And the colours are definitely intensified so I need to fix that. These ones are tiny so they'd be perfect for a pair of earrings but well not earrings because they're probably probably too big but yeah, if I cut them right down to the shape, they're really small. So I probably want to make these a little bit bigger. Actually, I think they're actually quite cute. What do you think, what do you think guys? Do you think these are worthy of selling? Um, I could sell them as my first batch and put them really cheap. Do you prefer them with the border or without the border? I'm not really sure myself. I don't really prefer them with the border. But I'm going to try it again, but I'm going to make these a tad bit bigger. I think they look so cute for my first kind of shrinky dings. I've got some pins to glue on the back as well but I am going to resin these too but I might try it on the next ones first. Right guys so I made them again. These were the old ones. Sorry it's not focusing very well. These were the old ones and these are the new ones. You see how the colours are a little bit better now and they're and they're at least twice the size. I did make them quite a bit bigger. It's a bit trial and error obviously um, and uh, yeah so that's that one and the egg one looks like that which is way nicer he is so cute how cute is he um cute little guy there um and then we have the shoe i think one of them i cut a little bit close to the top which was this one um here i cut a little bit close to the top here um, so that one's going to split a little bit, but this one's better. I actually used the, um, the hole punch this time, used the hole punch um, to make this hole um, because it shrinks so much that, um, that that's what you need. But the colours are much better now and I think they'll, look, they'll pop even more once we've got some resin on the top. So that's the next step. 
Hi guys, so yeah, I am um, before I do the resin stuff, I've never done that before. I'm just gonna make some stickers. So I am making um waterproof stickers. Um I have made these before in my butterflies and my coffee mug and everything. Basically, you take two sheets i've just printed it on matte paper matte sticker paper you put two together and then you just put it in um put it in a lamination sleeve like that and then you laminate the both and then you just cut the edges off and then pop it through your cricket as normal now the cricket doesn't like any reflection so you have to tape over the lines with some magic tape so that's what we're going to be doing <laughs> Right, I'm just cutting around the edge. Don't cut towards the black box. Just literally just cut around the seal area. So I've just cut two edges now. Um, and they haven't stuffed very well, actually. I'm not really fond of this lamination stuff. So I'm just going to pop this back through, actually. Is this what you want now? Or is it because you can't forget her? file because it kept doing something weird i think there must be a flack or something um on the actual file but they turned out really nice this is the little avocado guy which i thought was really cute and these are all made in procreate by the way all hand drawn um, and this is my little egg guy which again i think is absolutely sweet he looks great as well and the nice sort of finish with the with the cut as well and they feel quite luxurious as well they feel quite thick if you know what i mean um and that's what i quite like out of the sticker so they're quite a good size so they will be going on my etsy shop as well so i need to do some photography uh, i've got to take pictures of the pins that um I, that i mounted up yesterday and i also need to take some pictures of these i do have a couple of extra um little animated guys like this i've got a chip um this little guy called who, i call him mr chips but uh, i've got him and i've got an apple um little dude as well that can go on so i might actually make a little sticker pack i might add another one to it like an orange or something uh, and i make like a fruit and veg sort of sticker sort of sheet that would be quite nice too so yeah i'm going to take some pictures and then i'm going to do the resin stuff because once i've done that i've got to sort of vacate this room for a little while till tomorrow so i'm going to try and do that last right guys i've just made these stickers as well i'm really going to do some quotes and stuff so i'll just come up with these um these are stay positive how cute are they they're just dead simple i've actually laminated these as well so that they're really good quality here's the other sheet um so yeah i actually do back-to-back -back lamination to create these i'm going to just take some pictures of these as well and then i can get them on my etsy store uh, and then i'm going to crack on with the resin bits and pieces so i've got everything ready i haven't mixed the resin yet i've never used resin before if you want a full video on this you're gonna to have to bear with me because this is my first time so basically i'm going to be doing uh, some key rings so i'm obviously going to resin these little items that i made early for the shrinky sort of shrinky plastics i'm going to put a resin dome on the top um i'm also i've got this sort of letter kit as well so i thought i'd make some key rings maybe and i've got a couple of bookmarks as well that i got from wish i think or from somewhere like that wish i think i got those i have a epoxy uh two-part resin kit here and i think it's got um the gloves and everything obviously this is toxic so i'm gonna have to open the window and i also purchased a ventilator as well um because obviously this is toxic it's not good for the health so you really need to be wearing your health and safety gear i have got glasses as well just in case um they sort of splash in the eye etc i also picked up from amazon these sort of like glitters and um, these are kind of like mixing glitter so that you can get resin put together and then you can add some glitter and make them quite a nice thick sort of uh, glittery uh, resin and then obviously i got some pigments as well again these are all um listed these are all available on amazon um i can leave links below if you're interested in them but obviously i'm going to test them out today 
As for the shrinky dinks, I've got to say I really like the plastic. So I'll leave the details up below of the seller that I used. It was someone on eBay um, based in the UK, I think Leicester, not too far from me. So if you're interested in that, it's really good quality, good price as well, um, better than I've found anywhere else. So I'll leave their details below too because I thought it was really good. Hi guys, today is Monday. It's actually quite late. It's actually six o'clock, so I haven't filmed all day. We've been for a walk today, so I haven't really done any sort of um, cricketing, any Etsy stuff or anything now, or anything to do with the computer or editing or anything. So I'm just having a quick look at the things that I just need to finish off. We've gone back to work tomorrow, so back to the day job. Um, in here is a bit of a disaster from yesterday. I was doing the resin crafts. Um, I've left them 24 hours as well and they still haven't dried. This is what we've got so far. And this is not ideal by, by the way, guys. I mean, I can give you a bit of a tour of here, but it's an absolute bomb site. Um, I'm actually thinking about swapping stuff around. But anyway, before I get into that, this is, I did a J and an S. This needs some more resin in there. It's sort of sunk a little bit. So I need to just put another layer on the top. I doubt I'm going to get the same colour again. So I might actually just put a different colour on the back of the S there. Because that's the, the back. The J is almost done. It's nice and raised. Um, but it's still a tad bit soft. Um, these have turned out really nice. But I think next time I'm going to increase um, the colour a little bit. I sort of faded them a little bit in, in order for them to... Um, sort of look a little bit stronger but now I just don't think they look strong enough so that's those and I think on some of them as well I don't know whether you can tell not on that one maybe that some of the resin sort of pulled back a little bit near the edge of the shoe it's all very nice there's no bubbles or anything so I think it's really good for my first attempt uh, I think it's on this one actually this was a bit of a duff one anyway because I did it quite close to the front but if you can sort of see that can you see what I mean? See how the resin's sort of not at the top of the shoe. I don't know whether you can see that or not. It sort of goes there and then it, it kind of starts to stop around here. Um, as if like I've missed, I don't know whether you can tell. Can you see it there? Where the, um, where the resin sort of ends. So that one I've not done that well, but I'm not too bothered because this one was a bit of a test anyway with the broken top there. These have turned out really nice. These are little egg guys. These I'm probably just going to put on my um, Etsy store. Quite cheap really because this was my first attempt. So that's I've got two little eggs. Little egg people. And then I've got two of the little avocado people. Which again turned out. These turned out really nice as well with the um, sort of doming. Yeah, I'm not getting any bubbles at all, but I just wish these colours were a little bit stronger. I think I'm going to have to... Also, I just printed these on normal sort of settings and I think they look a little bit grainy. So for my first attempt again, I'm going to just sell these off really cheap. I'm going to put glue a little pin on the back um, and just do them quite cheap for now until I perfect it. But I'm really happy with how the resins turned out. I think I did a quite a good job for my first attempt. I didn't think I did bad at all. So I've got two little avocados and two little um, egg guys here. And obviously this is going to be for Sam. I'm not going to be selling these. And then this was for me, which I think is quite nice. Um, I have actually had this out, but it's not quite... It is solid, but it's not. It still feels like it's bending slightly. This is completely bending, which I'm surprised at because um, this should be, like, rock hard, and it's only quite thin. See how it's sort of bending already? Um, so that's that bookmark. I don't know what, because it's the same sort of resin as that. So I don't know why that one's taking forever, but I'm going to leave that till tomorrow and just leave that on there. I put a paper bag, sort of a plastic bag on, because obviously I did spill quite a bit like resin drops everywhere and I think obviously these just they just pick off afterwards um, but these are the little keychains that I'm going to put on them after this is going to be for my friend um, and this one's obviously for me um, but yeah it's my first attempt so yeah so we're just going to do some sorry I'll just pop you there um this room is just too full at the minute um I do want to get a mono printer as well. I'm really getting into this, aren't I? So, yeah, I've got some parcels from Amazon. They've just arrived. Um, I'm going to open them together and then I'm going to start... I'm just going to, I'm going to list these as well. These are my new stickers that I just made as well. If you like those, I thought they were quite cute. 
um, especially in the current situation. So I'm going to list those as well on my Etsy store and obviously yesterday I printed off all these little guys as well. These are all laminated too. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, put them on my store as well and the little hand-drawn egg egg people too so I'm going to put um, them on there too. I have got a couple more characters that I need to do but I'm not going to be printing them today because I haven't got the time today. I kind of need to just tidy up this little room a bit. I'm talking about moving downstairs. At the minute we currently reside for day work in the dining room and we're currently due to move back to work so we're looking at a phase return from the 12th of April so we will be going in work from then which means our dining room is going to be free again. Now we don't dine in there because we have a breakfast bar in our kitchen so we generally eat there um, and we don't we haven't had guests for so long either. It's not like I'm going to get rid of the table or anything, but I'm going to actually start you maybe utilise that room instead. So I might decorate that, leave this as a dressing room, which is what it was supposed to be. And for my other YouTube channel, which is doing lifestyle and fashion, because obviously that's my main channel. This is my second channel. It may even become my main one, who knows? Um, but yeah, so I thought, because this is getting overly, overly cluttered, I want to decorate that room though. It needs new blinds up as well, uh, which we have have to order to match the living room ones but again I didn't want them done until it'd been decorated because it's not been decorated in there for quite a long time I'm talking maybe four, four years or so so I'm going to take that horrible paper off paint over the magnolia I don't like magnolia and yeah and do downstairs so I'm just going to do a video of that which is going to be really good um, and then obviously I can set up having to keep putting stuff away which is what I have to do here like my laminator keeps going away and then I keep getting it out there's not enough room to do resin apart from on my little pop-up table it's going to solve the issue of my lighting where I keep saying I keep putting it away which is why I'm not using my bigger camera at the moment which is up there I'm not using it because I don't have room to put my lighting kit up but it'll give me the room and I feel like I am taking over the house a little bit which I feel a bit mean because poor Sam he's only got he's got one playstation room which is the other bedroom he has like a, a gaming room um, because it's just us two, we only have the cats and stuff, so we don't have any children. Um, so we do try and utilise all the rooms, basically. So he has that one as his gaming room. He's got some sofas in there. and um, two, We've got two PlayStations. One of them is mine, because I, I do like a bit of PlayStation sometimes. But yeah, um, and I feel like I'm taking over the house, if you know what I mean. I certainly take over the wardrobe space. So yeah, I'll be taking over the dining room next. So yeah anyway so anyway let's get into opening these parcels so we've got two parcels from amazon i did order actually some some glue for the pins i think it's in here so yeah i ordered this one it's the squeezy one, um, the UHU, just to glue the pin backs on. So I'm going to do that to the four pins that I've got. And then the other one is I ordered some new paper. Now I thought I'd try a different type of paper. So this is the Koala Inkjet sticker paper in matte. I have been using this one, which is the Evergreen Goods matte paper which I think is okay, um, but I'm not massively fond of it. It feels quite nice, don't get me wrong, um, but I feel like it's not good quality enough. It's not that expensive. I think for this pack, I think you can get it off eBay, actually. I got the first lot from Amazon, which I think was about £8 for 50 sheets. But I find that eBay is cheap. I think I got a pack for like fiver. So you save almost, and it's free delivery as well. You save almost two pounds on a packet, which is, I know it's only two quid, but it all adds up, doesn't it? So um, I got this last, I've got another packet of this, but um, I only paid five pounds for that. And the gloss one's a little bit more expensive, but again, eBay is really cheap for that. But I thought I'd try different paper. Um, so I thought I'd go for this. This is actually a um, hundred sheets. Um, I'll leave the price below. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was £11, which I think still is really, really good. Um, it said it's good for sticker making, gift card de deco, bottle labels, scrapbook deco, and more. Uh, compatible with inkjet printers. Obviously, mine's an inkjet uh, and dye ink only. Let's get the sheet out and have a feel at the difference. Now, it's difficult to see which side's which. 
Oh my word, you cannot tell which side is which. Right, it's all in the packet the right way up. So I think you can kind of, can you feel the difference? I'm not totally sure, but it's difficult to tell. But it does feel like better quality than the Evergreen Goods. Now, obviously I can give you a bit of, um, I'll give you an update on my next vlog on what I think of this paper. Um, but first off, it feels really nice. It feels better quality. Um, I was not not been 100% happy with that. It's nice if I laminate it, don't get wrong, that's absolutely fine. I can't get on with the glossy. I can't find a good glossy. I don't like the Evergreen Goods glossy. I find if I do it on a photo setting, the colours look awful. Um, if anybody's got any ideas below on what paper to get for glossy, I would love to know. Otherwise, I have to laminate everything to make them glossy. I'm not fond of the glossy paper, especially the evergreen goods, because if I do it normal print on uh, glossy, then it kind of smudges a little bit as well. The colours are fine and everything, but I find it does smudge. Um, so, yeah, I don't currently offer glossy sticker packs at the moment because I can't seem to find the paper that works so if you've got any advice please leave it below right guys I am going to my battery's about to die so I'm gonna leave the vlog here um so I hope you enjoyed it for my first vlog if you want to give me a big thumbs up that'd be brilliant if you want to subscribe you can do it in the link below don't forget to follow me on instagram I have a different instagram handle if you're over from my other channel but I'll leave it on the screen and I'll see you all in the next video Bye. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me